It's me, it's me, it's the GOC coming to you live to tape from the lounge here at Chaos Corner. It's Saturday night, it's a big night in the world of pro wrestling. And you know what that means? It's WWE Survivor Series War Games from the TD Bank Arena. I think that's what it's still called. In Beantown, in Boston, a stone's throw right up the highway from 91 to 84, right into Beantown. It's a sold-out crowd. We're on the pre-show. I see Booker T. I see Jerry the King Lawler. I see some other luminaries. They're discussing what's going to happen tonight at Survivor Series War Games. Since Triple H has taken over, there's been a lot of changes. Since Vince is retired, allegedly, there's been a lot of changes. You've been watching SmackDown and Raw. Who knew that the GOC would come back to the WWE? I'll say that to say this because I tell it like it is. That's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to put out clips up on Twitter and on YouTube, and we're going to cover each match from Survivor Series. I'll quickly run down the matchup card here and, and come back. It's 7.15 Eastern Standard Time, so we'll be here for the pay-per-view, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they call it now. Premium Live? Whatever it is. Follow me on all social media platforms. Go over to your laptop. Go over to your mobile device and punch in Guardian of Chaos, and that will bring you to here on the YouTube channel, on Twitter in real time at Big Daddy GOC, and the GOC stands for the Guardian of Chaos. If you hit that profile link, that will knock you over to here, the YouTube channel on Instagram. It's the Guardian of Chaos. Of course, there's two accounts on Facebook, Jay Brony, I get it, Jabroni, Jay Brony, and Protigio Fidelis El Guardian. Also on Gitter, Gab, Rumble, Truth Social, I cover it all in the IWC. In the shadows of Titan Towers. We're only a stone's throw away from uh, Stanford. So uh, let that marinate. We're going to cover it all tonight. Don't go anywhere. Come on back. So uh, here we go as we jump off all the other social media platforms. Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Back here to the mothership on the YouTube channel, Guardian of Chaos. Here's what we have tonight, fans. The bloodline in the main event at least for me, against the Brawling Brutes. Now, the Bloodline, the Samoan Dynasty, Ultimate Oos, whatever you want to say. Are, are you feeling Oosy tonight? Are you feeling Oosy? Uh, I'm feeling a little Oosy. Uh, we're after Thanksgiving. I'm very thankful for everyone here. and We're trending now towards uh, December into Christmas. But let's talk about war games. One of my favorites, we go all the way back to the early days in the 80s of war games for the NWA. And maybe we'll talk about that sometime throughout the night. I'm going to try to keep the clips short. Uh, as I look right now here on, on, on the, uh, the smart TV here in the lounge, they're lowering the cage. or They have it above the air there in uh, the arena uh, in Boston. And it looks fantastic. So I'll say that to say this. Roman Reigns, Jimmy and Jay Uso, Solo Sokoa, and... Uh, Mr. Usi himself, Sami Zayn. Hey, how are you, Melehini Kane, Pupule, Wiki Wiki? Uh, mahalo? Uh, all you Melehinis out there, uh, Wahinis and uh, Kane? Uh, yes, uh, I, I get it. Taking on Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, Butch, Ridge Holland, and KO. Look at the athletes in this matchup. Look at what's going to happen here between the champion Roman Reigns. There's nobody hotter and better right now in the world of professional wrestling. Not MJF, not CM Punk, not Omega, not anybody from the far, uh, from the Orient, uh, uh, anybody over there in, in uh, the, at New Japan or any of the companies. There's no one that can carry Roman Reigns' jockstrap right now. Let's face it. And the storyline. Uh, and we'll see Sheamus, one of the toughest son of a bitches in the WWE, along with Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens. This is going to be a banger, a slobber knocker. And I'm looking forward to the bloodline against the Brawling Brutes. My prediction, let's be real here. I, I know it can go either way. I'm taking the bloodline. The women's war games match, a team, Bianca, Bianca Belair, Becky Lynch is back. Everyone had all kinds of conjecture on who it was going to be. Everything from Rhea Ripley to Beth Phoenix. Well, you were all wrong. Because last night, Becky Lynch is back, and she's in war games. 
along with Alexa Bliss, Asuka, and Mia Yim. I don't want to say Alexa too loud because uh, like JD from off the script, uh, my Alexa might come on right now. Hey. You never know who's watching or who's listening. And they take on Damage Control, Bailey, Dakota Kai, EO Sky, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley, who I've become a huge fan of in her whole angle and work with Dominic Mysterio and, of course, with Finn Balor and we'll call him Punishment Martinez. I know it's Damian Priest, but the whole angle there has really brought Rhea back to where she should be. Tonight also, so it, that, that's the women's war games. I already gave you my prediction on the men's war games. We're going to keep this as a quick one to put it right up as a premiere on YouTube and put some out on Twitter so we can get back before 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so we could be live to tape. One man, unique, unedited, unscripted, no paywall, no pay channel, no Patreon, no super chats, none of the above reality TV at its finest. And I'm relaxed. I'm even missing the Hercules Hernandez Memorial Tournament tonight at Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. Let that sink in that I'm missing that event uh, because it's all well under control under uh, Pretty Paul Roma and the boys down at Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. So I'm kicking back covering the Survivor Series for you. My prediction, Team Bianca, I'm going to have to go with. I know that's the obvious that's who I'm going with. I'm looking forward to a lot of great female athletes. I support women's rights, women in sports. You guys know how I feel about that. For all this, for, let, let's not get onto the soapbox here. Although it is my channel. You could always change it. For the WWE SmackDown title, former UFC champion and perhaps the baddest lady on the planet at one time, Ronda Rousey defends against Shotzi Blackheart. Or just Shotzi. I don't have much to say about this match. Uh, Rousey was a legend in the UFC. She's become a little stale in the WWE. Shotzi, not really a main eventer in my opinion. No disrespect. I'll take Ronda Rousey in this matchup to retain the title. But it, that, that might be where I take a little bit of a break and kick back and not give you full coverage. Also, AJ Styles against Finn Balor. Two legends. AJ Styles, a first ballot Hall of Famer, a legend that's been around for over two decades. His work from TNA to Ring of Honor to WCW to the WWE. I mean, does it get any better than AJ Styles? Because I really don't think it does. I've had a chance to be on some of the same shows as Styles. And let me tell you, a true professional. And Finn Balor, a lot of people are sold on Finn Balor when he was the demon, etc., etc. Great athlete, great shape. Love his work with, with Priest and Ripley and Mysterio. I'm going with AJ Styles on this. Also, for the U.S. title in a three-way that wasn't originally a three-way, it's going to be the champ Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins against a former champ, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Is there a better physical specimen than Lashley? I don't think so. And then, of course, against Austin Theory, Mr. Former Money in the Bank, and then all the circulation around him and what, how Triple H is booking him as compared to when Vince was here and how they were using him. Uh, Austin Theory has shot into stardom in the main event, not only on his physical ability, but because of that whole connection. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other matches here. I have one, two, three, four, five, I believe, on the main card. You never know how long these war games are going to go. They can each go an hour themselves. There's a lot on the line. You could see where the whole KO, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, uh, uh, bloodline story, see where that's going. Of course, it doesn't get much better, like I said earlier, than Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Uh, Butch and Ridge Holland, Rolling Brutes, I, I could take them or leave them. I know they're in with Sheamus, good athletes, and just for me. Uh, Bailey, big fan of Bailey's, big fan of Rhea Ripley, you guys know that. Eo Sky, Dakota Kai, Nikki Cross, okay, qualified athletes, depth in the, in the roster. But uh, the women's war games, the athletes on the other side between Bianca and, and Asuka and, and Mia Yim, and then throw in, uh, I guess, no more little habits. Uh, Alexa, uh, I mean, uh, Becky Lynch is now the man. Neither one of them ever really worked for me, but she's a good athlete. And then Alexa Bliss. Don't don't go don't go off over there, Alexa. And I'm not using someone else's gimmick because it's right here in the lounge. So 
the athletes on Team Bianca's, I see no way that they lose war games. I see a lot of damage coming out here tonight. I think this is going to be, as other podcasters have said in the community, the IWC is just going to be a, an incredible night. Let's see what happens. This Bray Wyatt show up and all the different craziness that's going on with Wyatt and Bo Dallas and the, where it's going to go and the new Bray. It's played out a little bit, getting played out. I like the story and the different personalities. And if you call that number they put up on SmackDown and the phone call and let's move on with this. I want to see him back in the ring and I'd love to see Bo Dallas back in with Bray Wyatt. I'm not sure if we'll be here at Survivor Games or Brock Lesnar. Does Lesnar show up tonight? A lot of conjecture and rumors out there on what's happening. So I'm giving you my predictions on what I think. Uh, the U.S. title, the three-way tag match, I know I didn't really touch on it. I jumped back. I think that's going to be, could be potentially the stealer of the night for the matches. Although Bloodline and Brawling Brutes, listen, that's, that's why I'm here. But that Rollins-Lashley theory match has potential to steal it. And does it really get any better than AJ Styles and Finn Balor? Perhaps a co-main event, a main event anywhere. So that's what we're doing here. That's right. The GOC is back with the WWE. After all these years, my over 50 years as a fan, a scout, an agent, a smart, a mark. That's right. I said it. Mark. And my over three decades as a pro wrestling manager with everyone from pillar to post, coast to coast, and border to border. So come on back. Don't go anywhere. We're kicking back on a Saturday night. Grab a snack, grab a beverage, do whatever it is that you want to do, but come back to see me, the GOC, because I tell it like it is. And I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Tonight, for WWE War Games Survivor Series. Don't you dare miss it. It's... 7.25, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Come on back.